In this video, we will look at how can we use the Excel plot to examine assumption 3 for the regression model, the linear regression model. So for this assumption 3, it states as the population of arrow or residual is normally distributed with a mean 0. So in order to examine this assumption, you need to use two different diagrams. And one is to examine if the mean 0 assumption is violated or not. And the second the diagram will examine if the normality assumption is valid or not. So in order to examine these two parts for the assumption 3, and we will use two different diagrams. So the first is what we already use to examine the assumption 2, residual versus estimate the y value plot. And another is the normal probability plot. So the criterion to help you to make decision if the assumption is violated or not is first, if the mean zero assumption is not violated, and when you look at your residual uh, against the predicted y value plot, you should find the point should be distributed about a horizontal line, the zero. So you will find all your residual plot will have a horizontal line go through. That is this zero horizontal line. So if you look at the scatters, so they are evenly distributed around these zero horizontal lines. Again, you cannot see any, uh, for instance, you cannot see too many dots under zero line and fewer dots above the zero line. So they are almost evenly distributed above and below this zero horizontal line. So that is a mean zero assumption is not violated. And the second part of this assumption 3 is normal distributed. So the criterion to help you to make decision is if you look at a normal probability plot, if the points are falling approximately along the straight line, so like here, a straight line, then we will think the normality assumption within the assumption 3 is not uh, violated. So now let's look at if we got the exact output, how can we find these two diagrams? So we go back to our GPA example. So now we already created the residual plot from assumption 2. So if you look at this residual plot, and here is the zero horizontal line. So what you will find is they are not evenly distributed around this zero horizontal line. As I mentioned before, so there is a cone shape instead of a rectangle. So as they are not evenly distributed around this zero horizontal line. And so the mean zero assumption is violated. So now let's look at a normal probability plot. So this comes with your Excel output. So we don't need to create this diagram. So in this case, since we are limited by the number of observations, we only have seven observations. So you will see this normal probability plot. So some of you may think, okay, it looks like a street line. And some of you may think, okay, there is actual dot is not in this street line. So as I said, for the using the plot to decide if the assumption violated or not is very subjective. So in order to make a right decision, we still need to go further use the statistic uh, tests. However, um, in, by looking at this diagram, you should have some idea. So you are kind of think maybe the assumption is not valid because all of them seem like look in the straight line. So the I, I, idea is you need to remember all your assumptions uh, criteria. So if you have the some normality assumption is not violated, you're supposed to see a straight line. So the dot will line it on the uh, straight line. 